back and we continue our journey with uh, the integer data type which is still a type of numeric data type well integers is uh, what you know in mathematics okay they are positive and uh, negative whole numbers but then how are they represented in MATLAB is why we are here today we saw that by default when you create a number it is always a double okay always a double so for example the five i've just created is normally an integer the way we see it right but the way my lab has stored the, the value five is as a double okay so how do we get it to be an integer how do we create integers well we should know that integers in MATLAB are of various classes the same way we saw previously that real numbers in MATLAB are of various classes double and single in integers you first of all have a higher category which is uh, signed integers and unsigned integers. Signed integers will take positive and negative whole numbers, okay? Unsigned integers will take only positive whole numbers. And within now the signed and uh, integers, the, the signed and unsigned integers, you have uh, a more detailed category, which is, uh, for example, int 8, int 16, 8. So for that, I think we'll go to the help so that I can show you a table. So on the hub, we'll just search for for integers, okay? And uh, let's get this. Good. So in future, in future, if I show you a document in the help and I did not follow this procedure of coming to search for it, you should be wise just to check the title right here, okay? This title right here will tell you what to search for in order to get this document okay so now we are looking at integers and this is the table i want you to see okay so we have signed integers uh, comprised of signed 8-bit integers signed 16-bit signed da -da. and then we have unsigned integers comprised of unsigned 8-bit unsigned so sign simply means positive and negative integers unsigned simply means um uh only positive integers as you can see in the range of values okay so what is what varies what is the difference between the 8 bit and the 16 bit and the 32 bit well just like single and double it is the range of values that can be taken in the 8 bit and the corresponding space that it occupies in memory okay so we are going to test that uh right away so it's pretty simple, right? 8, 8 times 2, 16, 16 times 2, 32, 32 times 2, 64. And those are the four types of uh, uh, signed integers we have and the four types of unsigned integers we, we, also, we also get. Well, to create signed integers, as you can see, is simply int and you put the corresponding type. If it is int 8, that is that. If it is int uh, 16, that is that. And to create unsigned, you just we simply add a u in front of the int and follows the same standard. So let's go ahead and apply that. So we said uh, x is equal to 5. Now let's create x instead as an integer. Then you have to be x is equal to int okay i'll now have to choose is it in 8 is it in 16 is it in 32 so this depends on the range of values i want my integers to be in okay so let's start with int 8 because obviously 5 will fall in that particular range so int 8 x is equal to 5 and now let's check what is the class of x the class of x is int 8 okay so let's create another one y is equal to int uh, let's say for example uh, 16 okay no int 16 <laughs> int 16 and we will use the same value 5 okay now i would like us to create z is equal to u int 8 okay and we will use the same value 5 and uh, w let's say should be equal to uh, u int 16 of the same value 5 good we've done that so let's uh, have let's see our values what do you see you see that uh, you have u int here, it occupies a space of two bytes in memory, 
okay you have uh, int also 16 which occupies the space of two bytes so both of them will occupy the same space in memory but then int 8 which is of lower class than this will occupy what a uh, space of one byte which is a lower range in memory okay so let's try to see what are the what is the maximum how do you determine the ranges we saw that on the table right we saw that on the table right here how you determine the the different ranges here you see sign a it goes from negative 2 to the 7 to 2 to the 7 minus 1 okay but if you don't want to take your calculator and calculate what are these different values well i have uh, good news for you okay so you just need to use the int mean function to determine the minimum value and uh, in between the brackets you indicate the class that you're interested in okay so the minimum value it it will go from negative 28 and to get the maximum value to 127 so you simply go from negative 28 to 2 to the 7 minus 1 right which is 127 int 16 for the mean value or let's take the max first we'll go 32,767 you see the difference and uh, int mean 16 will go negative 32 so let, let's take the largest one now 64 64 for int mean you see how large that integer is right so my lab actually gives us a very large frame to work with like that okay and uh, for the maximum value you have uh, in max 64 it gives us that so what does this tell you it tells you that this is the largest integer that MATLAB takes into consideration okay an integer above this let's say in max of that plus one for example is not considered if i say plus one it gives me back the maximum so you should know this okay i think scarcely are we going to reach this kind of value for integers and if you want an integer that is larger than this then you should better create it as a, a double number and then use it in that manner okay so um i think that covers it for for this class okay so remember on signs on signs let me take uh int uh, mean int mean of on signs is zero okay so on signs go from zero to the maximum value okay to the maximum value of the corresponding sign okay to the maximum value so on signs does not have negative numbers okay why sign have negative and positive okay so i think that's cool uh, that will do it for our data types following numeric data types next we want to see characters okay so see you in the next session